talk about hot jobs. <laughs> the Bureau of Labor Statistics says computer and information technology occupations will add more than half a million jobs by 2026. The problem, though, not enough teachers teaching computer science to meet the demand. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson joins us with how that's changing in Fresno County. Juanita. Well, the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools has teamed up with Code.org to train teachers how to code so they can teach computer science to Valley students. All right, let's get working on it. I'll come around. Teacher Jesse Quidiz makes his way around his classroom, helping students with this assignment, make an interactive greeting card. Okay, so we got our happy birthday in our draft. Now what do you want it to do? The class is language through technology, and it's about teaching students how to code, a skill this seventh grade history teacher at Riverdale Elementary also had to learn how to master. I really have no coding or computer science background at all. I mean, in terms of like actual training. But through a partnership with the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools and the nonprofit agency Code.org, teachers like Jesse are being trained in computer science. There's a tremendous need for computer science because we're trying to close the gap between the fact that California has maybe 50,000 job openings in computer science, but we're not, we're only graduating maybe a couple thousand students who are able to do those jobs. So we're trying to close that gap. The State Board of Education recognizes the need and last year adopted the first ever computer science standards for schools. But there hasn't been yet time for teachers to go through that program. So we don't have trained computer science teachers. So that's what we're doing. We're training those teachers to teach computer science. Teachers come to them with different backgrounds. Justin Gilliam is a math teacher at Sanger High School and says he only dabbled in computer science in high school. He is now now teaching AP computer science. When I was offered the opportunity, I was, I was excited, you know, being able to teach something new, something different, something we didn't offer here at, at our school. Um, it's, we're paving the way, you know, for the future. There is a huge effort to bring coding to rural schools and to get more girls and minorities interested in technology. It's a great experience. I think anybody should learn it. It's something good to know and there's a lot of um, opportunities. Educators say exposure equals opportunity. Jesse Quiddy says he uses himself as an example for his students, telling them if he can learn something new, so can they. I try to tell them like, hey, I'm new to this, you're new to this, um, but this could be something in the future that can really, you know, set you on the right path for your careers and for your future. Now this past year, the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools trained 35 teachers and that impacted over 3,500 students, both wow. junior high and high school. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those lost art forms, really, computer science. It's, yeah. it's not an easy class. No, well, no. not it, for us. No, exactly. It's, <laughs> like, it's like learning a whole new language, <laughs> yes. right? It is. It's like so, learning the kids a whole are more, new language. Yeah, they're like sponges. They right. just soak it in. Yeah, Good the stuff. earlier the better. That's right. Juanita, thank you. Thank you.